As one of, if not the biggest stars of MMA, Conor McGregor is no stranger to shedding weight for competitions and getting to insanely low body fat percentages. In fact, he is the first UFC fighter to hold titles in different weight classes at the same time. Now, while there are definitely a plethora of weight cut tricks that can be used closer to an event, the majority of his weight loss involves following an extremely rigorous diet and training routine, with some sources even speculating that the Notorious has a daily intake of just 1,000 603 calories when trying to dig into lighter weight classes. In his case, this decrease seems to come mainly from carbohydrates as he's been quoted in saying that he doesn't eat a lot of carbs and if he does, it's something like sweet potatoes or butternut squash and that instead most of his diet is actually just made up of good meat and a lot of quality greens with some fruits. Add this to performing hours of intense sparring, conditioning, added cardio and more every single day and it's easy to see how he would shed a lot of weight fast. So you know me, I'm always up for a challenge. So today I'm going to take on exactly that and try to mimic Connor's diet for 24 hours. So if you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get digging. What is up, fam? Let's get straight into the video. You read the title. Today we are going to eat like Conor McGregor for 24 hours because I am preparing for something very special later on this week, which might have me in quite a large surplus. So I do sort of need to compensate. And what better way to compensate than to follow Conor McGregor's weight cut diet? You know, I've seen some infographics out there showing that sometimes he might go as low as like 1,603 calories. Are you serious? So I don't know if that's true and if I'll go that low, but I do know that his diet pretty much sucks in the lead up to like a weight cut or something in that it's super low carbs. I think right now we'll probably cut back on the carbs a little bit. You know, it's mostly protein and vegetables. So that is sort of what we're gonna try to do today as a compensation day. So if you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and actually let's start off this vlog which started yesterday. So let's rewind and go back to yesterday. So I hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> What is up family, from the past, it is a beautiful day here in sunny Ireland, not really, it's pissing rain and we're off to the motherland because tomorrow I'm planning on eating like Conor McGregor and I need to pick up some ingredientes. Let's just appreciate the beautiful little symbol up on that roof. We have our bag, so let's go inside. Okay, so I know he does like to snack on some fruit, so we do have some strawberries at home and we have some melons, so I don't think I need to get any more fruit. And I know that he's a super clean eater, so Little's Bakery is a no-go. But oh my days, for this time of day, it's actually pretty well stocked up, still some leftover cookies. So for breakfast, I know he does have a huge omelet, but I already have eggs at home. I actually have quite a few ingredients. Uh, we did a bit of prep, and mum has some leftovers, but we do still need to pick up some stuff. And I know he follows a super low carb diet and the only thing he likes is like sweet potatoes or butternut squash. So we're just gonna get the biggest potato because that is pretty much gonna be the only carb source that I can have tomorrow. And the rest is pretty much just a shit ton of green vegetables in particular. So I know he likes kale, but there's no kale. So we're gonna go for two big ass heads of broccoli. Of course, we need to go for some baby leaf spinach as well, a staple. And I have some steak at home for lunch. So we are gonna pick up some of this discounted chicken for two euro. Then I need some sort of pasta sauce. So we'll go for this bolognese pasta sauce for the chicken. Man, is it just me? Or does anyone else just love walking around grocery stores and just having a look at everything that's on offer? I mean, especially in Little. I mean, what the fuck? I mean, such random things sometimes. Ooh, George Foreman Grill, that's pretty cool. And look at this sensor bin, what every household needs. And of course you have a soda bread maker. <laughs> and how can you not forget the bumblebee teddy? Jesus. Oh my days family, I have never seen these before. Comment below, have you ever tried them? Toblerone, back of the pack, per bar, you're talking 14 grams of fat. Actually 234 calories, not too bad. I've never seen these before. I've seen the Oreo ones, but these two, let me know down below. But anyway, I have gotten far too sidetracked. We have acquired the goods. But yes, the weather is getting very, very bad now, so I need to actually start running home. But we have the goods, so I'll see you all tomorrow. Oh no, not now. Why is my car such a 
fucking potato. Let's hope there's enough battery left in this bad boy. Green light is always a good thing. Here we go, let's pray to the gods. Whoa! What is up family? We are just sipping on some agua pre-leg day, getting the mindset right. Again, it's another horrible day for recording this video, but nonetheless, you do know normally I'll have caffeine actually. Well, according to Conor McGregor, first of all, he's not a morning person, but second of all, he'll have his water first because you do not want to apparently drink coffee first thing in the morning. So he's been quoted saying that the first thing he'll do in the morning is stretch and drink water. And he's also been quoted saying that he does actually fasted cardio. So in a way, this sort of works out. I'm gonna go in now, smash legs, fasted, and I will do some fasted cardio afterwards and then check back in with you after. So here we go. Man, I'm always scared before leg day. It's like going in, it's just like, this is gonna be difficult. But nonetheless, I'll check in with you when we're done. Okay, so I can confirm leg day officially sucked. I think we got like 400 reps of lunges and now it's time for some Stairmaster because Conor McGregor isn't a snowflake. I put in real work, hard work. Okay, so here we go, Stairmaster. Level 10, we're gonna shoot for 30 minutes, so through the power of YouTube. Oh my God. 30 minutes, 420 calories. Stay disciplined, my family. If you say you're gonna do 30 minutes of cardio, you do 30 minutes of cardio. And it's now that we get our first meal for the day, a protein shake. Again, I prepared this before we're coming out, just like 30 grams or one scoop of bulk powders. Chocolate cookies, give me the cookies. Cookie, cookie, cookie. One of the best flavors, and actually before I forget, I'll probably put the stats, my notes, and the overview of that workout on the screen. We flew through lunges. It took like an hour for all those reps, and then we did the cardio. And according to Conor McGregor, getting enough protein is important when I train to help build muscle and recover. So I'll supplement with whey protein shakes. So that is why we are having this post-workout. Again, just something to tick me over until the first meal. So here we go. Ah, <clears throat> there we go. Oh my god, I can feel my muscles growing. Maybe even my legs growing. <laughs> but anyway, that is that 25 grams of protein. And now we get our first meal. Which, as you can probably guess, is just going to be a shit load of protein, very little carbs, and a lot of vegetables. So it's going to be a giant omelette. So, I mean, I guess it is sort of the perfect post workout meal, the most anabolic food you can get. But I would like some carbs. But nonetheless, he has been quoted saying that a typical breakfast for Conor McGregor involves eggs, and his coffee of choice, which he'll have, is an Americano, which is a shot of espresso diluted with hot water. So he says, I'll eat eggs and omelette with my Americano for a late breakfast or brunch. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to go for two whole eggs and then six egg whites, like one tomato, a whole bell pepper, and some onions. So three, two, one. It actually came out pretty well. I'm sort of looking forward to this. So we have our big omelet, and then we went for this little espresso shot with a bit of hot water, so. As always, the macros for this meal will be up there in the right hand corner. And actually I've forgotten to do the weigh in. And also I said with these vlogs, I will start doing a physique update. So hopefully the physique little update is rolling on the screen now. And as far as the weigh in goes, we did weigh in this morning. We are heavier than normal, which is good because that was the plan. So 76.4 and 8.3% body fat, which I have no doubt is gonna like plummet tomorrow, but that's okay. So let's give you a taste test head upstairs, get to work, and then get to meal too. So yeah, this came out pretty well. Again, I'll probably put some B-roll on the screen. We just chopped up all of the vegetables, pretty much just cracked all the eggs into like a jug, mix the veggies into a jug, put the jug mix into like a pan, and just sort of slow cooked it for about 10 to 15 minutes. So here we go. We have a nice little bit of omelet, folded it over in two pieces. Mm. Mm, it's pretty decent actually. Mm. The one good thing about this is that it's gonna be high protein, so I will still be full, even though I'll be on poverty macros. But yeah, this is gonna be a solid breakfast. Mm. And I will check in with you at the next meal or wherever the day takes me. Oh, we need to get a sip of this. <laughs> Woo, that's hot. <laughs> what is up, people? Just getting a bit of work done. So in terms of snack, uh, foods. Connor doesn't really have much choice to be honest, but there is a picture out there of him looking like a boss nibbling on some fruit. So that is exactly what we have here. We have made up quite a hefty bowl. I'll probably put some B-roll on the screen. We went for like quarter of a whole cantaloupe 
and then a hefty dose of strawberries because again these are carbohydrates so I need to sort of stock up when I can so that is going to be the bowl and of course for some extra protein seeing as it does allow a protein shake I'm going to include that as well just to keep me sort of satiated until we get to lunch so let's give you a taste test again these are two of my favorite fruits by far mm. Man, the cantaloupe is good. During the winter, cantaloupe is like super hard, but it's sort of coming up to that time now where it's like getting nice and soft. So here we go. Mm. Give this a shake. Ah. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna nibble on those, and in terms of macros, they'll be up there in the right-hand corner, and we do need to go get a package, and then probably have lunch and dinner. So I don't know which I'm gonna do first, but you will just find out, and I'll take you along my day, so. So here we go, we're at the post office because we need to pick up a package, that's package in Irish because I don't know about you, but there's nothing worse than waiting for a package like the whole week and then having it delivered when you're not at home. So you get this little leaflet through your letterbox and it's like, come pick it up. So nonetheless, we're here, so let's go get it. And I knew what it was gonna be, but we pretty much got another supplement delivery. We took out all of the shit, so we got Creatine monohydrate, aka steroids. Bad. <laughs> and then another big ass bag of white protein. My protein this time. So cinnamon Danish, by far one of the best flavors out there. So it is time for lunch. Which once again is just like meat and vegetables. So I told you yesterday we did have a few leftovers. So we have some green beans and then we have this like, I think it's beef in some sort of curry Indian sauce. So I'll probably drain off a bit of the sauce, but that alone isn't enough. So what we're gonna do is steam this whole head of broccoli that we picked up yesterday to have alongside that. So three, two, one. And there we go, family. Hella volume for help keeping me full. But yeah, we did sort of steam the broccoli in the microwave and then like sift through the sauce just to get out all of the meat. So that is gonna be lunch. And as per usual, I will put the macros up there in the right hand corner, which I've just found out is actually your left hand corner. So that's a potato moment. But yeah, again, another sort of staple meal of Connor's. I know he likes red meat. There's a few pictures out there. I think there's one of him in a restaurant where he's just having like salad or green vegetables with some sort of red meat. So that is what we are having for now. And then I do have a surprise for later on for dinner. I do finally get a carb source at dinner, so thank God for that, but let's give you a taste test. Hella high in fiber, so again, helping to keep me full, even though I'm poverty macro. So here we go. Mm. Oh. Oh my God. You can tell it's been soaking in the juices. It's actually very, very good. Mm. Here we go. Oh my God. We just dropped it all on the floor, of course. Mm. So that is gonna be lunch. To be honest, it's probably gonna keep me full. It's quite satiating, so that is gonna be that. Bring it back upstairs, get doing a bit of work, and then check back in with you, probably at dinner time at this stage. So here we go, we are back in the dark room. <laughs> but it's coming up to dinner time, and I've been waiting for this for a while, because you know me, I like to sort of save my calories for bigger meals towards the day. So what does Conor McGregor have for dinner? Well, this could have actually been lunch as well, but you can see on the screen, chicken seems to be an absolute staple of his. So he has two pictures where he has like chicken on a plane and then chicken with some green beans, but then there's one where he's literally feasting on what looks like marinated chicken in some sort of tomato sauce, salad greens, rice, and sweet potatoes. So you know what that means. I finally get to eat some carbohydrates. So here we go. My potato, I've been waiting for you all day, but essentially we're gonna try replicate his like uh, chicken dish with the pasta bolognese sauce or whatever that we picked up yesterday. So we're pretty much gonna chop this up, put it in like a wok and pour all of that into the wok. And then we're gonna have again, this whole head, the second head of broccoli. So three, two, one. Oh baby, dinner fit for an absolute king. You know you're eating big when you need two dishes. But yeah, pretty much everything turned out swimmingly. The wok plan went well. The chicken sort of just marinated in the juices. Then we just steamed the sweet potato and the broccoli in the microwave. Everything was done in like literally 10 and 15 minutes. So as usual, I will put the macros up there in the left hand corner. I don't know, it seems like a lot of food, but it's actually not really that high calorie in respect to what I'm used to on like cheat days and everything. But nonetheless, I want to dive into this when it's warm. So I kept the potato nice and dry. Again, I'll put some B-roll on the screen or whatever because the plan of action now is to just get this rolling 
in the tomato sauce. Woo, baby. Look at that potato drenched in tomato sauce. And then we're gonna just get a bit of chicken. Pro tip, always check that your chicken is white so you don't kill yourself. A bit of chicken, and here we go. Oh my God. I love sweet potatoes. Man, having that tomato sauce there is also a game changer. I've never had chicken in tomato sauce, so it's pretty good actually. Let's get a bit of broccoli. Mmm. Mmm. So good. I'm telling you, try it out with the tomato sauce. Absolute game changer, especially when you like drench the whole potato in it. It's very, very good. Mmm. So, that it's gonna be dinner again, it's coming up to nine o'clock. I need to get a post going, I need to get back upstairs, get doing a bit of work, and I do have a plan for the macro capper. It's definitely an interesting one, but I'm sort of happy that I'm eating big now, and you will find out, so stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and see you all in the final meal. Okay, here we go, one take kid checking in at an ungodly hour. So what does Conor McGregor have before bed? Uh, definitely not Halo Top, you know I like something sweet so we did try to sort of twist the rules but apparently back in 2016 I think he posted a picture reading the Cert Diet book. Now uh, Cert Diet is a completely different topic for another day but on the list of Cert foods is green tea, dark chocolate, you know all those red wine, things like that, kale. Uh, so we did have green tea in the cupboard already and in little we picked up some dark chocolate. They have these like array of dark chocolates flavored and we picked up the caramel one it didn't have the whole bar we had like six uh, squares but guys volume wise i wasn't just going to bet on that that would have just been horrible so i did add the other quarter of the cantaloupe again not very high calorie either to be honest i'm still sort of hungry um so i don't know i would eat but i'm probably going to go to bed in like the next 45 minutes to an hour but yeah that is how we finish off the day eating like conor mcgregor hopefully i don't turn up like that what is up family it is the next day and that was quite possibly one of the worst workouts i have ever had you know it takes a lot for me to almost give up my workout well i actually nearly cut that short and snowflaked it out but we still plow through at this stage i really don't give a sh with bad workouts, I've had so many that I just sort of get used to them, you know. One bad workout isn't gonna be the be all and end all. And I do sort of have an excuse. My legs are just empty. I just feel so depleted. Uh, I'll go into the macros actually. I was plugging them in there while I was cooling down. We hit 231 grams of protein, 268 grams of carbs. It's a lot, but most of it was just fruit. And then 78 grams of fat. So only 2,700 calories. And I know you're probably like, 2,700 calories? That's so much guys when you trained the amount I did yesterday. And also I think we hit like 21,000 steps or something. I'll put my overview on the screen. I think we burned like 4,465 calories. So over Overall, we were in like over a 1,700 calorie deficit yesterday. So at least I banked that for the next future video. Stay tuned for that. And now I can sort of maybe just loosen up the reins a little bit and eat sort of back at maintenance. But yeah, in terms of the weigh in, it did show up on the scales. We were over half a kilo loss in the day, 75.8 and 8.1% body fat. But again, stay tuned for an absolute bomb and be sure that you subscribe to the video. And I'm probably gonna end it here. Again, let me know if you like these vlogs. I know this wasn't really too much of a challenge you know, I eat clean on a daily basis, like 4,000, 5,000 calories of clean food. The only real difficult thing is cutting back the carbs because you know me, I love my carbs. But yeah, if you like these sort of vlog style, obviously calorie challenges, I'll do a full on dedicated video to that. But if you like these vlogs, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and see you all in the next video. It's either going to be a scientific one or it's going to be an absolute bomb. So stay tuned for that. Hope you all have a good day. Boop.